I'm Alex here with Williams Gun Sight Company. Today we're starting a new series of instructional videos on how to shop for new gun sights or what's commonly known as iron sights. Iron sights are considered any firearm aiming devices that use separate front and rear components to align the barrel with the target without the use of electricity or magnification. The first step when setting up new sights on a long gun is deciding what rear sight picture you want to use. There are two primary types of rear sights, open sights and peep sights. An open sight is a rear sight that is open at the top and is typically mounted on the barrel using a dovetail or two screws. Williams open sight blades come in various heights and shapes and give you the widest field of view while maintaining a proper sight picture. However, your eyes must shift focus between your rear sight, your front sight, and your target. With a peep sight, or aperture sight, you look through a small hole that's mounted within a few inches of your dominant eye. Williams makes various types of peep sights depending on the model of your firearm and its intended use. The peep sight limits your field of view depending on the size of the hole and the distance from your eye. However, that also allows you to use the circular blur as your rear reference which removes the focal point from your sight picture. Additionally, the aperture restricts the amount of light to the eye, allowing you to focus on both your front sight and your target at the same time. All Williams peep sights have interchangeable apertures to fit your need. There's a third type of rear sight known as the ghost ring. The ghost ring is a narrow circle and can be used in either the open sight location or the peep sight location. To use a ghost ring, center your front sight in the circle like a peep. Due to the width of the opening, it gives you a wide field of view, but you also sacrifice the focal benefit of the aperture. Once again, my name is Alex from Williams Gun Sight Company. Next time we'll be talking about the difference between line of sight, bore axis, and the trajectory of your round. For any more questions, please visit our website at williamsgunsight.com.